Hi, it's Vicky. I just wanted to create a little video. Um, I've no idea whether you're going to be able to hear it very well because I haven't brought my microphone. Um, but I'm out walking the dog um, and I just thought it was time that I actually came and shared a few things that I see about what's going on in the world at the moment. If I keep turning around, it's because I've got the dog off the lead and I've got to keep an eye on where she's at. <coughs> um, Anyway, I really wanted to talk about the way that we create our experience in life. So what I'm going to tell you is probably completely contrary to what you have been brought up to believe or what you might think is true. So it's likely to make you kind of question. Um, but in the questioning, I'm hoping that you might see something a little bit different that's actually what's really going on. So we go around life thinking that the things on the outside of us, things out there, cause us to suffer or to feel angry or to feel upset or whatever it is, whatever emotion we have, we pin it onto something outside of us. So in the current climate, Obviously there's a lot of fear. Um, there's a lot of wind as well today, so I really hope that you can hear me. Um, there's a lot of fear and people make the assumption or not make the assumption, put that fear onto COVID-19. So it's, it's this virus that's causing me to be scared. That's making me feel anxious. That's, uh, um, making me feel unsafe and with that understanding or with that view life looks really really scary um, the virus is a terrifying thing and life is pretty unknown and scary so what I want to introduce to you is the idea that nothing outside of us can make us feel a certain way so that sounds like okay she's gone completely mad but I want you to just bear with me because this understanding has completely and utterly transformed my life and the, oh my dog is rolling in something disgusting sorry uh, it's completely transformed my life and it's completely transformed hundreds of thousands of people's lives um, around the world who have looked at this and seen for themselves that it's true so let's take let's take something uh minor like going to the cinema going and watching a film or watching a film let's say not going to the cinema because you can't do that so watching a film so you might sit down and watch a film with somebody and at the end of it one of you will say oh, that was the best film i've ever watched it was amazing and the other person might say, oh God, it was awful, the acting was terrible, that, that the storyline was just so unrealistic. So what's going on there? It's the same film, but two people have got completely different opinions of it. They, their experience of the film has been completely different. Because the only way that we can experience anything is through our thinking about it. So if you have a thought, well this is really rubbish, then your experience is of a film that's really rubbish. If you have a thought, oh this film's brilliant, best film ever, then you're going to have an experience of, of that. So if we look at um, feeling sad, our feelings come directly from our thoughts. So you may not be aware of the thought, but if you have a feeling, you can 100% know that it's coming from your thought. So take uh, feeling sad, or actually let's start from the, the, the beginning. You have a thought that is sad, it makes you feel sad. So if you think about one of your loved ones getting this virus, that gives you a horrible feeling. It gives you like a really scared feeling, a worried feeling, an anxious feeling. And then your experience is of worry and anxiety. So with that feeling and that that thought you might then start going about um panic buying going grabbing loads of loo rolls or loads of food thinking that um 
you know, because what you're thinking is very true. It looks absolutely 100% true. So if you think um, my family are going to get this illness and we're going to be stuck inside for weeks on end, then your behaviour will be, right, I've got to go and get loads and loads of food because we might not have enough and blah, blah, blah. So what I invite you to do, sorry, I keep looking around to try and find my dog. Um, what I invite you to just look at is whether that is true. Just have a look in your own life of where your thoughts create your feelings and from that, your experience is created. So for me at the moment with this virus, I go through periods of being really terrified, and then feeling fairly calm, but I know that all of it is coming from my thinking in the moment. So whatever thoughts are going through my mind are gonna give me associated feelings and then an experience which relates to that feeling and thought. So when I'm having a thought that uh, my husband might get worse rather than better with the illness, then that obviously causes me some horrible feelings of constriction and, and tightness and anxiety. But those feelings are an invitation for me to wake up and see what's going on. I'm just caught up in some thinking that's anxiety provoking, some anxious thoughts are going through me. And if I leave them alone, they will just go and then I'll have more fresh thinking and different feelings and a different experience. So when you look at your own experience of even just this virus, you might wake up one day being absolutely terrified. And then the next day, you feel quite calm or even moment to moment, literally it can change moment to moment because our thinking cha can change in, in a minute, in a second. We can have a new thought and a completely different experience. So I just invite you to have a look at that, to have a look at whether that is true, just to have a, to get curious about how our experience is being created. So for me, understanding this means that when I feel anxious, I know that I've just got anxious thinking going through me. And if I leave it alone, if I don't resist it, if I just let it be, then it will change and I'll have different thinking. Um, and so my experience of this virus is just really one of peace. Like, I'm not out there panic buying because when I see the thoughts, oh my God, I need to go and get loads of food and I need to go and buy loads of slew roll and I have a feeling associated with that which is a really unpleasant feeling where's my dog gone on this shit then I know that the thinking is not to be taken seriously it's just it's just some anxious thoughts um, and I don't need to listen to them at that moment because they aren't giving me any good information so I could just engage in what I'm doing in life, or whether that's taking the dog for a walk, whether it's loading the dishwasher or making a cup of tea, and then that brings me back into the moment, into the now, into what's the only thing that's true, the only thing that we know is this moment now. Everything else is a creation out of our thinking. And so, yeah, I'll leave you with that. I've rabbited on enough, but if you've got any questions or you want to chat about this further then do just get in touch because I am I'm absolutely here for you and I just want to help people to get through this difficult time um, so yeah reach out to me if you need any help sending you lots of love bye